Now, there are types of hearts as taught to us by our scholars. They say that there is a heart which is considered a dark heart, a heart that has no light of belief in it because the possessor of this heart is a disbeliever. So the light of belief, Iman is a light that radiates from the heart. Again, understand how important the heart is. Iman radiates from the heart. And a person who has a dark heart is a person that does not have belief. Thus, this person is a disbeliever. Then we have another type of a heart. And this is the heart of a person who is confused. Thus, this heart is called a confused, rebellious heart, a treacherous heart. And this is the heart of those that were found at the time of the Prophet wasallam when he migrated to Medina and Islam began to become prevalent and there were benefits to attribute yourself to Islam. This was the nature of the hearts of the hypocrites, the munafiqun. They said outwardly and explicitly that they believed, but implicitly they did not believe. This is regarded as, or this is called rather, a treacherous heart, a confused heart. Then the scholars say that we have something known as a mixed heart. It's a heart that has love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a heart that has love for the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it is a heart as well that seems to follow its desires, seems to follow its whims and its fancies of the self, of the nafs. So it has love for Allah, it has love for his prophet, but it's weak with regards to dealing to the innate desires of the self. And remember we said the self is when the soul and the body are attached to each other. So this body has wombs, it has fancies, but the sharia, ah, the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Islam which is a way of life, governed us, gave us perspective, taught us the do's and taught us the don'ts. And there might be certain don'ts that our nafs is inclined towards. Right? And this heart is weak in ensuring that this, na this nafs doesn't fall prey to its desires. So it is, it is a heart that is mixed with the love of Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they love to follow the instructions of, of, of Allah and His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But it's weak in terms of following what it loves to follow. And many of us can relate to this heart. And this is the third heart. Then we have the fourth heart. And the fourth heart as our scholars say, is a pure heart, a content heart, a true heart. And that is the heart of a true believer. The believer that has mastered the act of growing this Iman and belief in God Almighty to the extent where it governs this believer. It governs its nafs and it is all for following the teachings of Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings be upon him, and it is not interested in what the nafs desires from the glitter and glamour and attractions of this temporary life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us this pure heart. Heart number four. Ameen.